Good morning, friends. It is 8.30 and I've really not been asleep. I've dozed on and off through the night. My insomnia right now is really bad this whole past week. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make some coffee. The kids are still sleeping. Will is at work. It is Sunday, so Will has the next two days off. So once he gets home, uh, yeah, I might take a nap or I might just try and doze right now since the kids are sleep. Well, not right now. I can't sleep, that's why I'm awake. Um, I'm tired though, but it's like my body just won't sleep. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Um, I got a big box of K-Cups in the mail yesterday from Amazon. I got, um, it's the company called Crave Coffee, and I really wanted to try this blueberry vanilla. There's also, um, let me see, I kind of talked about it in yesterday's vlog. I got 100 K-Cups for $33, so it wasn't horrible. There's caramel, French vanilla, uh, cinnamon, Vermont maple. Just some really yummy sounding ones. So I'm gonna make the blueberry vanilla. Oh, I don't have any vanilla creamer crud. All I have is Starbucks caramel macchiato, which is fine. So I'm gonna do that and just wanna say good morning because that's what it is, it's morning. <laughs> This is the creamer I have. It's delicious, I really like it. Hopefully it goes well with a blueberry vanilla coffee. We'll see. I'm surprised Jackson's not awake yet. Um, yeah. So I don't remember if I talked last night about how the kids and I went out. I think I did. Yeah, we went out and we ended up seeing Jupiter and Saturn up. Um, in the night sky, well, when Will woke up, I wanted to see if I could show it to him, and obviously by the time he woke up, we had rotated a bit, and uh, we could no longer see Saturn and Jupiter. However, we could see Mars, so that was kind of cool. And I actually went upstairs to see if Alice wanted to see it, because earlier in the evening she was like, oh, I want to see Mars. If you see something red, that's Mars. And I said, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see it, because according to the app that we were using, that... Um, Sky, night sky, 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 sky view, sky, something. I got it wrong yesterday too. Um, sky view light, according to that, uh, Mars was like in a position that we couldn't see it at that moment. Well, by the time, a few hours later, when I looked, you could see Mars. So I went in and I like shook her awake. I was like, Alice, do you wanna come see Mars? I said, it's in the sky now. And she said, mm, maybe later. I was like, well, it's not gonna be there when you wake up. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't miss it if you wanted to see it. So, Will and I were able to see it. Alice did not want to, and Jack was passed out. Like, I mean, they were both asleep. Obviously, it was like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we saw a few planets. So that was kinda cool. Will's home from work. He brought home treats. Um, he brought me two of these Bang cookies and cream protein coffees. I don't know if you saw that. The caramel one is my favorite. I've tried caramel, vanilla, and now the cookies and the cream. They're really hard to find though. He got this from Speedway, and then he got the kids each a slushy. And then the new Pepsi raspberry lemonade drink, which is very tart, very lemonade-y. He's playing some pew pew, pew 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 pew. And he's home from work for the next two days. It is Friday, woo. He's in deep thought. Kids are playing outside in the humid, humid humidity. Huh. See your outfit? Stand over here where the lighting's good. This is a skirt we got at Kid to Kid, which is like a consignment resale shop. Tired? No? It's cute. It's a little crooked though. See the seam right here? You need to turn it. She's got shorts on underneath there. So, yeah. I know that it kind of looks like my skin. Yeah. So. What are you guys playing? Um, we're playing a, like, ninja, like, camel game. Oh. Do you want me to put your hair in a braid or a ponytail? It's really humid out here. No? Your slushy is melting. I love my ears. I know. They're very pretty. We showed them the other day, but very nice. All right. So we're going to water alleys. Um, fairy garden. Just to let you guys know that this is, 
Um, plant food. It's water. Ooh, that came out a little too fast. It's water with a little bit of the like flower food from the roses I can't wait that Will got us. Elephants. Yeah, we bought a new watering can off of Amazon. Yeah, the ones that came with the family garden are too tiny. Okay, did you want to do this part? Mm-hmm. So, and I also bought some miracle Grow like plant food for indoor and outdoor plants because, because it did, basically. Make sure it gets down in the soil. Under. Yeah, but try to get it in the soil. Shake the squirt bottle up a little bit. I don't know if that plant food like settles or not. Okay, go ahead. Look how much your grass is growing. I know it's. I don't know. If, I don't think there's any like flowers though, or at least if there is, they're not blooming. Blooming yet, yet or budding or. Whatever it's called. Yeah. When we are no plant experts. We're not. Huh? The All first right. bear we're gonna... that I got, we killed because we did it not away. Well, we didn't kill it on purpose. Yeah, we, we just. Didn't mean to. We were in Michigan. Are bad at keeping things alive. Uh huh. Okay. So we were, set it we on the corner in, for now. We were in Michigan, so um, our dad forgot to water it. Yeah. Which that that's fine. We have another one. <laughs> We can always buy more seeds and more potting soil. This one's doing really well, though. I'm surprised at how well we've kept that one alive. Oh, yeah, um, the right spot right that? here was chalk that the boys, like, smothered yeah. all over there. And now it looks like powder. Yeah. You need to check your bonsai tree, too. Uh-huh. Did so, we show them? Yes. She'll be right out the front, okay? Jackson should still be out there. All right, let's check that bonsai tree. Go ahead and set it down right here. Oh, I'll take it to the kitchen, actually. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Can you feel the soil at all? Kind of. This like, one's kind of hard to get down into. It's dampish. We're going to add a little bit of water, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Why don't you take the nozzle? Once we get our watering can, it'll be easy. I'm going to have you spray just like this. I know an easier um, one. What? Um, no, don't do the... I want the, like... I have it set the word. Yeah, I want the mist. So I'm just gonna spray a few there and then rotate it. Spray a few into there. Rotate it's it. Me. Yeah. In there. And see how the water is kind of coming up above that moss. That means it's probably okay. Where do we want to set it? I would maybe go put it on the back speaker. Uh, not speaker, the subwoofer area where the roses are at so it can get some sunlight. I think it requires indirect sunlight. Boys got tricks. Ooh, it's a matrix move if I ever did see one. They are playing outside in costumes and it is so humid outside. I don't know how they're even breathing. Did you show daddy? Daddy. Show some pretty good core control. Ooh. kids to work, huh? Rah! Yes, I changed my clothes. She's wearing a costume. They're playing outside. Um, on Sundays, we clean toilets. So we have three bathrooms in this house. Well, two and a half. And the kids... This is a half bath. Yes. So between the three toilet, make sure everything's scrubbed all up under the rim. Okay. So they have to scrub the toilets, change the bathroom garbage bags, put new bags in. And that's part of their chores, huh? So Jackson's doing the kid bathroom. Did you clean underneath all that area right there with a wipe? Mm -hmm. Okay, did you put cleaner in? Yes. Okay, just make sure it's scrubbed really well. Kids are playing outside, and Alice had made this little, I think she we showed it in her vlog yesterday or the yeah. day before, this and little like I maraca thing. It, oh, you filled it with beans. Mm -hmm. 
I think there's too many beans in it. It doesn't make... Yeah. Anyway, Jackson had destroyed it, and so I made him fix it. And then I also, I also made Alice this with some dried pinto beans and tape. Why don't you take some of the beans out of here so it can actually make some noise? No, it's because most of them are stuck up here. Oh, okay. So now we're just gonna go surprise her. Allie bug. Yeah? Come here. Jack, shut that door. So, Jackson fixed your maraca. Kind of. And I made that. <laughs> this little girl is so happy with basically like trash to treasure, huh? And I like this one. Do you like this one? Oh, you don't like the one I made? I do like them. I like them both. I want maca to try. All it is is taped on there, so don't be real mean with it. And it's just beans and paper plates, so it's not like it's going to last. So don't get it wet or anything, okay? So tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to destroy you. Okay. No. Okay. Hug and make up. No. All right, so then I took... <laughs> I had a little paper cup and I put it inside of a plastic cup, put some beans so they stack inside. Beans in the bottom, taped that cup in, so now he's got a little shaker that, yeah, this is what we do around here. Making our own instruments, huh? Yeah. Alright, now I remember how I was going to make the maracas. This was something that the kids, um, it was in their distance learning, like over the spring for one of their STEM assignments. You take plastic Easter eggs put something inside, I just have pinto beans, two plastic spoons, and then you duct tape that around it, and then you have like your own makeshift maraca. So I am going to make three of them and surprisingly get the kids out to side. All right, I made you guys maracas. Pink for you. No, it's beans. Just regular beans, not jelly beans. Is that cool? It's an Easter egg with just some pinto beans in it. And spoons. And spoons. And duct, and duct tape. tape. Is that cool? And I can do the little hand Do you like it or no? Yeah. yeah. Now you guys can be in a band. All right. Love you. Bye. We are having lasagna for dinner tonight. My favorite meal ever. And I don't really make it that often, um, just because, I mean, it's a bit of work, not like a ton, because I don't like make my own sauce or anything. I don't know, I should make it more, I just don't. Um, so I've got a variety of cheeses over here, Parmesan, mozzarella, Italian six cheese. I'm just going to do an assortment of that. One yellow onion that I'm going to dice. Um, this is three pound chub of ground beef. I'm going to use two pounds of this, and then I'll put the other pound in the fridge. I'll cook it up later this week for tacos or something. Um pasta sauce, some garlic spices. I've got oregano, parsley, garlic salt. Um, two eggs are going to go in with the cheese mixture to, oh, the cottage cheese. And so we're going to have cottage cheese and the different uh, shredded cheeses and two eggs will make up the cheese mixture. And then sauce, meat, and onion and spices will make up the sauce mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going. I'm so excited. And I'm using my Pioneer Woman casserole dish.
places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you kids are working on some school stuff. No, it's not technically a school day, but it's stuff that we kind of started throughout the week and just didn't finish, so I'm having them finish it since tomorrow. We're going to be starting a new family read aloud. Um, we're going to be starting a study of Vikings, and we're going to, I'm going to read Who Was Life Erickson. Lasagna smells good. I can't smell it because I'm smelling the essential I smell, oils. I smell the oil and the lasagna. Yeah. Once the lasagna comes out, it has to sit for like 10 to 15 minutes, so it sets up. And while that's happening, I will cook the garlic Texas toast. So what they're doing right now is we just finished My Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George. And part of the packet that I had printed out um, was a portrait of the author. And so we looked up a photo on Google on my iPad, and they are just drawing the portrait. So they're going to work on that. They also did a Venn diagram comparing themselves with the main character and contrasting. Sam was kind of easy for me. Yeah. Because I'm a boy. And then they did a little quick um, star rating and like little book review of sorts. So you guys liked that book, right? Mm -hmm. What did you guys uh, rate it? I gave a it a four. Both of you gave it a four? Yeah, because it could have been a little bit more interesting. Could have been more interesting. More well, he lived in the woods by himself for like, what, a year? That yeah, was pretty. Until winter. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. There's a sequel to it. There's a second book. That's yummy, yummy, yummy! Just pulled the lasagna out. We're gonna let that set for about 10-15 minutes. In the meantime, I've got the garlic um, Texas toast in the oven, but I'm very excited about this. All right, sis, what do you want to show? My thing. Your thing? Are you putting wrinkles? Oh, eyebrows. 
Jackson, enough with that noise, please, baby. Kids are like making obnoxious noises today. So We're done. Speak loudly. So this is what I wrote. This is how short that was on the thing. Yeah. It had the triangle, and I tried to make the necklace with little. I tried not to cover the gray so much. Yeah. On um, those little black things, it's in her ear is like a hole and stuff, and like Let's see. the little like hole in your ear. There. That was the picture. See the little hole. Yeah. On the necklace. Very good. You did a nice job. High five. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. If you like fall scents, um, head on over to Walmart. These Better Homes and Gardens, the lemon pumpkin shortbread is really, really yummy. I just put the butterscotch maple cream into my warmer just now, and that one is also really, really yummy. And then I think I talked about the other day, um, the crisp fall leaves, and that one is also really yummy. So we've got some good fall ones, but they shorted me, or they were out of stock on the other three that I chose, which is a bummer. I'm realizing you haven't really seen much of me today, not that uh, that's a big deal. Lasagna's out, bread's in, we're waiting on that. Hello, child. Hi. What are you doing? Hello. Um, feels like a Friday because Will is off tomorrow, but it's really a Sunday and I have to wake up and school these kids. So I'm excited for our Vikings unit that we're starting, um, trying to get some more. I have some books to pick up from the library that are Viking, like other storybooks and stuff, but we're gonna start the Who Was kind of as our basis. What? She's making funny faces at I'm me. Excited. Batteries dying. That's what happens when you vlog a lot. You go through batteries a lot. Zoom. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting my battery for me? Thank you, sir. Yes, friends. Yes. Y'all, that was that was very good lasagna, huh? He's still eating. He's on his third plate. That was delicious. I am so full. I feel like I need to take a nap. And I'm full, but my dad's forcing me to eat. Yeah, Jack says he's full, but we're forcing him to eat. We're not forcing them. They he ate all the meat out I of have it. A piece of bread and like half of my Yeah, but you haven't finished a meal in a while. Anyway, we told them that they could get up and read. And then let their stomach settle and, and then go back and eat it. Exactly. Did you make a whiskey? Mm -hmm. I made a whiskey drink. I made a lager drink. I made a. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the lasagna was amazing. I will try and link the recipe that we used. It wasn't anything special. I don't know if it's just been because I haven't had lasagna in forever as my favorite meal um, or what. I mean, it's, it's a good lasagna recipe though, huh? Mm -hmm. The only thing that's really different about it that I've never done before is adding. Just focusing it. Adding eggs to the cheese mixture, which would help it set up, which makes sense. I just have never done that. So, two thumbs up. Um, kids are reading. Well, Jackson's doing his chore. You can't play outside anymore tonight. No. He got in trouble, so I feel still. Do you ever go where it feels like you still have your AirPod in? Like if, after wearing them all day? It still feels like it's there. I'm like feeling phantom AirPod feelings. Alice is reading Diary of a Pug. Pug Snow Day. Jackson just finished a, a book. What was it called? Snoop Sweet. Troop Attack of the Potato Clones. It's like a graphic novel. If you have kids or little ones in your life or you're a teacher or something, if you can recommend some other graphic novels or comic strip type books for Jackson or Alice, um, drop them in the comments below. What are some of the ones you've read? You've done like Dog Man, he's done Captain Underpants, like all those he's already read. Snoop Troop, he's going through um, Mighty Jack is another one that he just recently read through, like the series, or at least the first three. But he really likes those style of yeah, books. I read the last two. Yeah. And then well, I'm getting real I tired. Just finished my second oh snoop that food is hitting my belt you just finished your second snoop troop mm -hmm. and then for alice i got her um babysitter's club which she might still be a little young for but they have the babysitter's club graphic novels and another set of graphic novels that they both liked was uh, by Raina telgum telgemeyer i think is her name and it was, the, um, Guts is the one that she's, I think, most widely known no, for. Guts. There's Guts and Smile. What were the other ones? And Smile. 
There's a few. There might be an anxiety one. That was guts. Yeah, that was guts. Anyway, I'm falling asleep just sitting here. I wish I were kidding. So I'm gonna let you go for now. Let my food digest and let my nap happen, probably. At least for a little bit. It's seven o'clock, but I feel like I need to sleep for like a half hour or so. Um, in order to survive the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. Connect four guys. So, so now they're playing. I won. What is this called? Okay, something. Okay, okay. okay go. It's not okay, go though. Okay, okay. I'll have to try to find a link okay. for it. Okay, you <laughs> I'll play it's you. really quick. So it's this little travel game. Basically, you have four colors. We're going to Michigan. It's Connect Four. Shh. It's Everyone's connect. all spazzing out. It's not Connect Four, but it's kind of. So you take turns laying down. Like it's four players. So you take turns laying down your chips. And you're trying to get four in a row of your color. Um, and basically, you just block each other. And then one, really if you run out of your chips, like if everyone, then you just it's start. On the go, so you can, can I continue to speak, please? <laughs> if you run out of your colors, then you just pick one up off the game board and move it someplace else. So that's yeah. Will and I just played around with the kids. And I won. And then the kids are going to play some now. And you don't have a shirt on. As always, why do you never have a shirt on? Kids are in bed. It is 10 o'clock. Somehow I lost the last half of my day. I fell asleep on the couch and I've been dozing in and out for the past few hours. So that's that. I think we're gonna close this at this point since uh, half of the family's in bed and the other half's probably going soon. I look a little rough. Thank you so much for coming along today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it was kind of shorter because literally I slept the last part of the day. Alice did fall asleep on me while I was laying on the couch, so that was sweet, even though she's a big girl now, she still falls asleep on my chest. So, thanks for watching, drop a comment, share some love, and until next time, we'll see you later, bye.